Hey, my name is Dave Hillowitz. So last week, John Meyer, who is a uh, fellow YouTuber and filmmaker and uh, composer, uh, released a free sample pack called Soft Drums. Uh, if you haven't downloaded it yet, you definitely should. It's like absolutely amazing sounding. They're basically drums that were played with brushes so that they can blend perfectly with like softer kinds of music. Really, really good stuff. Anyway, I helped him a little bit with this like kind of weird contact glitching issue he was having. Uh, but one thing I didn't get to do was to fix the hi-hats. Uh, he had wanted originally to behave like a traditional drum library where if you hit the open hi-hat and then you hit the close hi-hat, it silences uh, the open hi-hat. So now I have a little bit more time on my hands, I can actually fix the issue. So I figured since I'm gonna be working on this library and doing this, and I've, I don't think I've ever made a video about that. So yeah, why not make a video? So let's get started. Okay, so here I've got the sample. Okay, let's take a look at this. So we've got these drums. Okay, and up here are the hi-hats. Let's look at this. Okay, and they're nicely labeled. So there's the closed hat, there's the open hat, and this is something he's calling slosh, which sounds like this. Okay, so those are the groups that we want to be mutually exclusive. In other words, when you hit the slosh and then you hit the closed hat, you want the slosh to stop because it's the same hi-hat. You can't actually have the hi-hat ringing out and also be silenced at the same time. The way that we do that is using a feature called voice groups um, or exclusive groups, which is like a, sort of like a sub-feature of voice groups. Uh, you can see right here, there's this menu, voice groups. That's what this is for, in part. It's also for limiting the number of voices and attributing certain behaviors to certain voices and different behaviors to other voices. But for the purposes of this video, we don't really have to worry about that. This patch has three round robins, which is amazing. That's great. Um, they're all in the same groups, uh, meaning you know, you've got your bass drum, your snare drum, everything uh, in the same group together. In order to be able to use exclusive groups, we actually have to split out the hi-hats into their separate groups. So there are a bunch of different ways you can do this. You can like select individual samples and then right click on them uh, and then do uh, move to existing group or move to a new group uh, and then kind of build your new groups that way. Uh, the way that I like to do it when you have uh, a situation like this where everything is already packaged together is to make as many groups as I need, uh, you know, duplicating groups basically, uh, and then delete the samples I don't need. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to make uh, a group for each of the three hi-hat articulations. Um, you know, obviously these are, there are three round robins, so we also need to have um, groups for all of the round robins as well. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this. We're going to duplicate groups, and we've got our new. That will be for the closed hat. That will be for the open hat. And these three will be for the slosh. It's important to note that now everything is checked, so you definitely want to uncheck edit all groups because otherwise any change you make to any of these is uh, liable to actually be propagated to all the groups. Uh, now I'm going to go through and label them because otherwise I'm going to forget what uh, I just said. Uh, so this is hi-hat closed, this is hi-hat open. Okay, so now that I've renamed all the groups, what I need to do is I need to go into each one and make sure that it only contains the articulations that we want. So here we're looking for the closed hi-hat sample. So we want everything to the left of that sample. Okay, now we do the same thing for open hi-hats. Uh, I'm seeing a fourth articulation there, HH foot. I think we need another three groups. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera off for a second and just speed through this so you don't have to like watch this in real time. Okay, so we're back and I have made uh, individual groups for uh, all four of the articulations. Okay, so uh, now is actually the easy part. Now is the part where we actually define our uh, voice groups uh, and uh, set them to exclusive. And literally all we have to do is select these groups now that they're all defined. Um, we need to actually set the edit flag because selecting groups and setting their edit flag is not the same thing. Uh, I've never really understood why that was, but yeah. And now we're simply gonna pick a voice group, um, voice group one probably. Um, these basically are all 
um, going to uh, participate in the same kind of exclusive behavior. Uh, and now way over here on the right side, we're going to choose an exclusive group. And basically all this means is when one of these is triggered and then you hit another one that's also in that same group, it silences the first one. And we click that and that's it. Uh, now, if I hit the slosh and then I hit the closed hat, and the fade time is basically just like uh, how quickly it shuts down the previous sample. Uh, we can keep it at 10, it sounds fine. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this was helpful. I'm gonna put a link to this instrument via my own personal Dropbox um, below, but very soon I'm sure it'll be up on the Piano Book site and you'll be able to just download it directly from there. By the way, if you're not familiar with Piano Book, uh, it's this fantastic uh, resource. Uh, there's just this cache of uh, free instruments. It was started by Christian Henson of Spitfire. And I should say YouTube fame. It's fantastic. You should definitely check it out. Also, uh, make sure you subscribe to John Meyer's channel. As I said up top, John Meyer's a great filmmaker uh, and occasionally he releases free samples. And when he does, they are fantastic. So make sure you subscribe to him as well. And also this channel. If you want to be notified when I make a new contact tutorial video or release new free samples. Um, yeah, take care.